Ah, alrighty, so you may have noticed, um, I've been uploading a few, you know, look at the content, a few videos and stuff. Um, yeah, I just thought, why not, you know, people ask, and I might as well do it. Anyway, this is just about the boss location, so I hope you enjoy. Fuck out of here with all that bullshit! Baby, I'm heartless, don't get me started. You make me live with your heart broke. Your friends think I'm gorgeous, feel like an artist. Time to get sold in an art show. I pulled up the last five nights. All of my Ubers like usual. Go get a clue, don't read a room. You the next boat load of cargo. Watch me. Girl, best take your time, cause we know this gonna end, but enjoy the ride. I've been stress free in my. Alrighty, so the first boss is over here. Now, I did, you know, I probably slipped off on how to get up here properly, but I wanna show you. Here because you know you're gonna need to because most of most of what is still in this go a long way around. You can actually just run over to here, you know, sign up to on the way if you really want to. But the first boss that I recommend fighting um, is this boss over here, which you can kind of just like walk up against this wall here and get all the way up. Boom! And it's a metal slime. Now the metal slime drops the most expensive weapon in the game, the starter sword. Now it's a legendary. 0.01 I'm pretty sure chance to get with 851 million gold the 850,000 I mean to 1 million gold but it's also quite a bit now that's the first boss right okay so the next boss you follow this trail and I'm going to show you the way to get there for all of them because I don't want to cut out bits and you just don't know where to go you just you don't you're not here to see the boss you're here to see where they are so the next boss is in the thieves area. Now you probably just want to ignore the thieves if you're a low level. This guy is also really good for getting your first 10 levels. Usually you find big parties. There is a chest over here which is usually guarded by an outlaw and a new player can be an outlaw but be extremely low HP enough. For the necklace quest he finds just outside. Here is the cat. Sadly the quest is more fodder than anything right now. The boss is spawned in this room right in the middle here and you will normally find other people waiting. As you guys can see, he's called the Marauder, and he's pretty simple to defeat. He also gives a fair amount of gold. All bosses give around the same gold. Uh, it goes up and down, so they don't have an exact amount of gold to give to you. They give to you, give to you it's just random, like, say, 40, 50, or whatever it is. Now, after this boss, you're like, okay, you know what? I think I'm ready for the final boss, which, to be honest, when you pass level 10, you got to it. Metal Slime or the final boss. Just Dodge and um, the final boss. So the bosses have a cloning tank which gives up a force of other coins are active. Now you notice this similarity in the snow boss. Anyway, you follow the main path and I'll show you how to get there from here because it isn't just following the main path, there is a bit of trouble just up ahead. So you want to go to the town, you can get clothes here which has you know stuff in here like robes, armors, and stuff. In the adventurous town, they also have like stuff like the Akatsuki. Like, Apart from that, right, there's the upgrading bench. You know, you can get weapons in here, but I just recommend using drops, save your gold. You can get weapons you've got players from parties, the one you see, maybe up which way do I go? It is pretty simple, you just go straight, and then you pretty much want to stay as centre as possible as you can, try to reach the, the gate. So, you know, you just want to keep following your instinct, just keep going. Alright, up here, around here, keep going, keep going, through here, over to here. Now, yeah, over to here. Into this room is the final boss room. This boss will allow you to help what Snowfields once defeated. Now, I will fight this boss to show you how he works. Sadly, I will be doing this solo because it's not going to be here, but it's not like I'm low level. He does do a lot of damage, but as you can see, as I said, so wanted to do coins. Now you do have a healing ability, and I do recommend it be one of the first moves you unlock. That special slash, and just try to copy my loadout, I guess. It is good. Dagger build is always great as well, because it's fast damage. Fast hits and other stuff like that. Now I did just get a Moonlight Cloak, which is not exactly the most common drop, so I am pretty happy about getting a super rare. Um, I do tend to give away my... I do point to just hand that out to someone. Anyway, the next area you guys of course want to know about is Silent Fields. Now, there's only one boss that's actually that anyone wants to know about in here. And I understand that because it's pretty much the only boss. The only one that can be considered as a boss. Well, the other ones are actually bosses. The only one that can be considered to be a boss is in here. 
uh, you pretty much just want to follow this path again, but there'll be some areas where they're a bit tricky, where you can't follow the main path. You have to go, you have to stray up a bit because it leads you to a shipyard, which looks like it should be like a boss area, but right? it's not. It leads you to a dead end shipyard, which you've just wasted like five minutes of time running through. Now, you may also think, oh, what about this secret area? Because you just hit to go, and that's just a chance spawn. It isn't even worth it. What you want to do is, by the way, the super mini boss is just down there. You pretty much just go along there, go there, jump off the edge there. There'll be a chest around the corner. You climb up to where the chest is. So I'll show you around here. There'll be, uh, you know, the super slime. Now, not many people like to fight them unless they want a gear. Not many people like to fight her in general. You can see right over there, she's got some minions. You go up along that wall because you can walk up along it and just jump around the other side. Because that is as easy as it gets. You can see there's a little gap, you just jump down. Anyway, so here, you pretty much can either double jump it, right? Or you can dash across. E to dash. Now, most people go up around in the whole lazy one. So the whole, it's not really lazy, it's just the easy word. You just want to, like, his. Okay, no, this is the hard one. I don't even know why people do it. Stash, bro. Be lazy, be easy. Now, some of you are like, oh, go up there, go up there, because you need to go up to a castle. No, you just keep holding W here, because what's the point of going up there when the castle's down here? Like, some people actually go up there and, like, where's the castle? Where you going? <laughs> but yeah, you pretty much want to throw this path. Now, I'll show you the shipwreck that I'm talking about. It's right down here, and you're like, oh, that looks like a boss room. It actually does. I actually thought that when I first started block. But no, I've been that way and I've learned that it's not. You pretty much want to go this way. Now, do remember, ice golems do drop a pretty good dagger if you're looking for a dagger build to do the ice golem quest, kill 10 of them, the quest you gotta do. I do recommend that because they do drop a pretty neat frost dagger, which is a super rare. And it's got pretty good pretty done. I don't believe I have one spare on me either. Nope, I gave it away. <laughs> anyway, um, you pretty much just want to keep following down here. Um, just follow this path. Now, some people will give me a rule. Why this path? I don't know if it's because as I said before, the shipwreck isn't a project. <laughs> but, um, now here, you might think, oh, cool, entrance to castle, right? Nope, got these stairs, we're still going. Quite a long journey, so having to rejoin and stuff is pretty annoying. Make sure that if you're a dagger user, get the Altus robes and get the purple armor. The purple armor is, you pretty much get it while farming the final boss um, in this area, just because it just drops from the gas that he spawns. So you can just farm the gas here, which look like Pokemon, but um, you can farm them if you go into that little town that you can farm there. But I check him and find the final boss because he keeps spawning them in as like a defense thing, so you end up getting the drops just by killing him. You also get other drops like great tools and weapon sites, all that. Now there are some other ones, other NPCs here and stuff. There's an upgrade station right there. You know, you can go use stuff upgraded. But you just want to hold W because you, you probably don't want to upgrade your stuff because it's going to be a new update soon. So you just holding W. Now, as long as it seems, it's a lot of holding W. <laughs> Now, you're going to be like, what the hell? Yeah, nope, hold W. <laughs> you ignore these guys and you pretty much go outside. And it's more of going outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside. It's a lot of looping around. I know a lot of people kind of dislike that, but I honestly don't mind it. Now, there is two ways you can go once you get up to the top here, which I'll show you. So, you can see you want to get over that bridge. Now, you can't actually jump over that gate that's right down there. But, you can actually just get over this one. And go all the way the long way around. Now, I do recommend not doing that. I recommend going this way. You know, you could come over to here. You can grab a chest on the way. Oh, whoops. You can grab a chest on the way. All right, just hold E. Grab the chest. You know, 320 points. I'll take it. It's like killing a boss. Oh, very unlucky boss. The boss is going to give up like, one coin, three coins, and stuff like that sometimes. I hate, I hate how it's right now. You want to go up here. And you know, you might want to kill like an ice golem along your way. And so I'll just quickly kill it. Yeah, as you know, I know some of you guys might prefer me to stuff off, but then how do you know which way? Oh, there's a lot of tricks with this, which is kind of. Annoying. But um, yeah, sorry, answering the question. Um. Yeah, and you just want to go through these doors 
and just again hold W all the way through those doors, but then and there'll be two bosses in there. And one boss drops loot, one boss doesn't seem to at all, or at least from my own experience. Your skills you never drop table, so unless no one's just, unless literally no one's gonna drop. So it's a giant skeleton one there that doesn't have any drops, and then the actual boss that does is the one over there. Now, sadly I won't get to attack him just yet, but I'll attack him for you guys in just a second when he respawns. Now, this boss dropped the DSA, which I know a lot of you guys really want, right here. I can verify because I have gotten it. I've gotten also the legendary. He drops all legendaries, apart from Star Sword. Star Sword dropped from our flying back in first world, I showed previously. It was the first boss that I showed. Look at that. But yeah, alright, so let's wait. So this boss, the Garcy spawns, can spawn in like a bunch of different weapons, like sides, great swords. Um, all that, you know. This is minions that drop it, as you can see here, these little Garcity spawns. And you pretty much just want to mess him the hell up. As you can see, 97 coins is pretty big. So he's also a very, very, very good money farm. Especially if you've got old accounts. Now, you pretty much just want to get a hit him because he's going to get absolutely destroyed. He does have a false ability. And then there's this boss. This boss doesn't seem to have anything on for it. He would just kill it because it's annoying. Um... Now, they could have added a secret drop, no one knows, because no one's got anything from it yet. But yeah, he just gets like one coin. You can just literally kill it just because they hate it. And you may notice this shield, this shield is for the blue heater, it drops from this guy. Um, it was my first ever legendary drop actually. When I literally first came here, I got it within my first like five minutes. I got super lucky with, um, anyway, thanks for watching, and see you later. Bye.